everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. It's been a hot minute since we've been out in the garage building stuff, and I did not get any video from work today. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to strip uh, MC wire, three different methods, going with the diagonal cutters, the BX cutters, and the MC spinner, or roto split, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. And the first method right here, you're gonna take your diagonal cutters, this is the nine inch Klein version with the yellow handles, obviously. But all you're gonna do is take your MC and you're gonna fold it in half to break apart the interlocked uh, sheathing right here. There's like a ridge and then the underside which goes under the next ridge. So you're gonna take your wire, you're gonna fold it in half just like that. You're gonna break and break out the sheathing right here and split it apart. You'll see the wire inside right there. Um, and this is the method that I use the least just because it's easiest to damage the wire. Um, but all you're gonna do is cut across this whole uh, thing now that you have the whole piece exposed. You're just gonna go ahead and cut across like this. I don't know the best angle to show you guys this. All you're gonna do is cut across the whole uh, piece right there. Then once you have that fully cut, you're just going to pull it off or twist it and pull it off. And that is your first method. I also like to um, cut this a little bit more. As you can see, it's all mangled at the end. Um, if you get really good at this, you can get it all in one probably. Um, I'm not that good because I really never use this method. This is the first method that I learned and I never really stuck with it because um, I just quickly learned a different method. Um, all you're gonna do is cut it a second time and then kind of just bend it back and forth and hopefully get a straighter cut than, than what I just got. There we go. So all you're gonna do is try to cut it, the whole thing again. Don't cut it at an, don't cut half, half of it and then bend it. Just cut it straight, bend your wire back, and then you have your nice straight cut. You can kind of push the um, uninterlocked part back under the other one and you are good to go. And that is the first method. All right, so for the next method, I'm gonna use the BX cutters right here. They do look similar to the diagonal cutters. They do look like it's giant straight scissors for heavy duty action for cutting wire. I have four different types of MC here. I got 14-2, 14-3, 12-2 hospital grade, and um, I think another 12-2 or 14-2 with the I don't know what you call it, more compressed sheathing without the ridges, the more condensed, whatever that's called, I forget. But anyways, I have four different types and I've been trying to make this clip right here. It's not working. So if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna call it. So basically you're just going to take these cutters and you're gonna put them across the top of the interlock ridge right here. And you're gonna cut as much as you can. Usually you're just gonna get the ridge and sometimes you'll get a little bit of the interlock going under the next ridge, but sometimes not. So anyways, you're just gonna cut it at an angle, get as much um, cut as you can right there. So you can kind of see, I kind of hit the plastic underneath. So another, uh, another way to damage your wire if you don't do this correctly, but also I haven't never really had any problems bending and cutting, um, the MC, um, maybe a couple times, but usually you can obviously look at it once you're done and inspect it to make sure you don't damage your conductors. Um, but it is definitely the easiest to damage wire using the diagonal method and uh, bending and cutting. Um, then the most second most easy way to damage your wire is this, mes this method with the BX cutters. So you're gonna cut it open right there and normally you just twist it and boom, you're done. But I don't know if this wire is just like super frozen in the garage or something. It's like, I mean, it's not super frozen right now, but it's like, you know, like 40 something degrees out. So usually you just twist this, but I have not had any luck on any four types of MCs that I have. Um, so normally you just cut it and twist it and it's literally like half a second method. Um, but this is just not twisting. Sometimes you can also bend it. <clears throat> which kind of defeats the purpose, but you can kind of bend it to help you untwist it. Um, 
but I don't know. It's just not working. As you can tell, it's just not twisting off. It's just unraveling. So normally it's a really nice quick method. Um, I'm trying to like help it right here. As you can see, I am finally breaking it right there. So as you can see, this second half of the uh, sheathing is breaking underneath, which is normally underneath the other ridge. Um, so I'm just kind of bending it back and forth until it breaks. Um, and normally it's really fast, but I'm not getting it at all right now. So anyways, that is the second method. And the third method, which is my favorite, call me old school, call me whatever you want, I don't care. The third method is with the, I don't even know what you call these. This is the, this is the Klein Tools auto clamping, um, I don't know, MC stripper, MC spinner, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the specific name. Um, but it's an MC stripper. All you do is put your wire in, you close it and it automatically grabs and you squeeze it and the blade comes in and then you twist it with the handle and it spins the blade inside. As you can see, when you spin it, let me show you guys this. So when you spin the handle, it spins the blade right here, which has teeth on it, obviously. And it kind of like a, a little tiny bandsaw and it just, cuts the outside of the sheathing perfect every time. You can do it once, you kind of feel it when it breaks. Uh, it's not really a big deal to do three or four times. As you can see, it already came off, but it, it makes a nice makes a nice clean cut right there. Um, and then you just pull it right off. So literally the fastest method for me um, and the least way, the least, the, the least, possible way to damage your wire. So anyways, put it in, twist it a couple times, take it out every time nice and fast. If you get really good with the BX method, you can do it nice, cut it, twist it, boom, like one second, no big deal. Um, I'm not that good with it. I'm not that quick. I don't really want to be because I like this method. Just clamp it, twist it, pull it, it maybe takes an extra one second if you're quick. So anyways, those are the methods right there. As you can see, it doesn't damage any of the wires. All the plastic is still there. Um, you can pull it down and check it. Um, there is, I mean, it is possible to damage it, but there is a little lever right here. Um, if you have bigger MC, you can flip this little switch right here and you can go from a deeper, a deeper cut to a shallower cut or whatnot. So obviously inspect it when you're done. But for me, that's my favorite method right there. Nice and quick. So anyways, those are the three methods. You got the MC spinner right there. You got the BX cutters. And then you have your diagonal cutters right there. So hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully it gives you guys a little bit of insight how to strip MC wire. It's obviously a more lengthy process slightly than just cutting your Romex for your uh, residential and stuff like that, cutting it with a knife, pulling it off, whatever, cutting it down the middle, whatever method you use for that. Anyways, it's a little bit different, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. It'd help with the channel. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. God bless, have an awesome rest of your day. Peace.